Good morning everyone. This is a follow-up video to our earlier video about adding steps to a rock wall and a raised mm -hmm. bed. We uh, finished this area a few weeks back and now we've made a few changes to things. A, another stepping stone was added to the four that already existed on the steps and I didn't like the way the old uh, steps looked going up to the last step so I added these uh, extra stones just because it looked better it looked a little bit more organized and we're gonna go and let this be dry stacked for a while. If I run into any issues uh, with them falling or any problem like that, then we're going to add some concrete, some uh, quick set concrete. Now, here is the area that we have decided to add another raised bed to going from the steps all the way over to this one last large stone. Now the area from this end down to this end is not completely level so I am going to remove a little bit of dirt on this end to level things out. Um, we're only going to go two landscape timbers high because that's all we need. We're going to leave these stones back here just like they are. They'll be just fine. We made a little bit of modification here of what stones were there. And to give myself a guide when I remember when I try to remember where the landscape timbers were, I just put in a rebar here at the middle of the end of the landscape timber as a guideline. And I did the same thing on this end. So that'll let me know what's going on. I've got some uh, extra soil in the yard that I can transfer to uh, to this bed here. Now, last video I talked about tools you're going to need. Um, I'll, I'll do a quick refresher. Of course, you're going to need landscape timbers. And if you don't already have one, you're going to need a rock wall. So, now, some tools. This coal shovel will be used for leveling. This uh, sledgehammer will be used for knocking in the rebar. Um, as far as drilling holes to put in uh, landscaping nails, which you're going to need, um, it's a good idea to have a pretty long drill bit with a, uh, a good size tip. To make a good size hole which is big enough for your rebar and if you need you should have some more of these drill bits that are differing sizes so you have a nice tight fit for your landscaping nails i recommend a cordless drill and to save yourself walking back and forth have yourself a backup battery you're going to possibly need a measurer and something to mark your landscape timbers where you put uh, landscaping nails in so when you add the rebar you won't hit where you put in the landscaping nail so a mark on the outside of your bottom landscape timber will guide you away from that issue you're going to need good work gloves I highly recommend these that I got on Amazon. They're called Vigos. And a smaller little sledgehammer 
uh, for the easily done pounding. And that is pretty much it. We'll uh, tune back in when I do this third raised bed. The original raised bed is back there. Here was our most recent raised bed, and I'll add a link in the video to how that went. And then this third and final raised bed in our rock wall is what we're talking about right now. Um, real quick, I mentioned this in the other video, uh, the people that built this rock wall that we're putting in the bamboo shield and landscaping our backyard they did a an, an adequate but not sufficient job on the rock wall so I'm going to be redoing that rock wall from this rock the rest of the way down okay. and I've got my lovely assistant Ann has helped dig this out nice and level and we have quadruple checked the level of this board and it's close enough for government work even though I'm retired from the government and I'm going to be adding three landscape nails and uh, then adding the second board and then the rebars Okay, earlier in the video I said it's a good idea to have a pencil to uh, mark where you put in your lower level landscape nails. I of course forgot to when I was putting this top board on. So I had moved it and uh, I am marking where the bottom landscape nails are. So I don't drill down a hole for my uh, rebar and hit that. Also, something I advise is when you're putting your top level board on, don't lay it exactly over top of the other, but stagger it mm -hmm. just a little bit. Let me move this one back, son. Stagger it just a little bit so you get a nice slope back into your bed now this top landscape timber is not exactly straight so even though i have staggered it some it bows out in the middle and then it goes back in again but that is no big deal all right Okay, there she is. Last three landscaping nails put in the top board, going all the way into the second bottom board and rebar in. Nice three quarter inch hole for easy sledge hammering. Yeah, I brought out the big boy at the end. And here we go again. Use that drill bit there, three quarter, and finish it out with this long drill bit, which is a half. Went all the way through both boards, down into the ground as far as I could. Made for a very nice sledgehammer job. So the next video, you will see this raised bed full of soil up to the level we want it to. So it will match that bed as well. And that bed back there. So what we've got is wood, stone, wood, stone steps wood and then stone 
Works for me. Okay. We have finished. The uh, soil has been added and watered in. Mm -hmm. We did a uh, just a little bit of rearranging of some stone right here by the steps to add more area to plant plants in. But all in all, our uh, new bed I think looks good and is ready to go to uh, soften the abrupt edge here of these landscape timbers. I just may add a few stones, but that'll be another day. Uh, not right now. But I think it looks good. Wood, stone, wood, stone, and wood again. Alright, so this is, uh, I guess you'd say, part two, the continuation of adding a raised bed to a rock wall. It took us about one and a half, two hours tops with breaks. Thanks for watching. Just thought I'd give you all a bird's eye view of the uh, finished product. There you have it.